A local high school canceled its final exams after hundreds of students called out sick in recent weeks. Gabriella Becerra shares what students at the school, which is consistently ranked among the best in the state, are doing instead. The Omicron surge was straining both mentally and physically on students and staff here at Shorewood High School. That's why they're ending the semester on a lighter note. Instead of taking final exams and writing final papers. I got countless emails from people who were experiencing a lot of stress. Shorewood High School is using assessment week to get caught up. If kids haven't been back in school from before winter break up to present right now, how can we really account for all of that learning during an assessment week and assess kids on it to where it could impact their grade? Principal Tim Kenny tells me this allows teachers to assess how a student is doing without the stress of a grade going down. Education is a huge priority, but nothing is more important than you and your family's well-being. Some parents are relieved to see the weight taken off of their kids' shoulders. I think it's fine because my son, who is in 10th grade, he's been having tests up until last week, and they're still working on finishing up stuff this week, and they're not just sitting in there doing nothing. Others voice concerns that no exams is too soft. Kenny recommends those who feel that way to talk to their teachers about completing extra work. There is some sense that some kids are, are getting off easy on this. And yeah, they, they probably are. Um, and I'm okay with that because we are in this pandemic in the midst of a surge like we have never seen before. Sherwood High School hopes to return to their normal assessment week at the end of the second semester. Reporting in Shorewood, Gabriella Becerra, CBS 58 News.